Forget the OPEC deals. What's moving oil prices and energy stocks right now is a spat between bad neighbours. Oil giant Saudi and its regional allies have cut their ties with Qatar, suspending transport links and even expelling its citizens. The UAE, Egypt and Bahrain, as well as Saudi, accuse the world's top supplier of natural gas of sponsoring terrorism. But the rift follows an escalating dispute over Qatar's backing of Islamist movement, the Muslim Brotherhood, and accusations that Qatar even follows the agenda of their arch-rival, Iran. Clearly there's more of an Iran dynamic coming through here, and you're witnessing a Saudi Arabia that's fundamentally more nervous about its place than it has been for a long time. And again, the oil market feeds into that, the worries about their cash position and how they can continue to fund their large defence budget. Saudi state news agency SPA broke the news saying Qatar supports groups including ISIS and Al-Qaeda through its media, in an apparent reference to its influential TV channel Al Jazeera. Etihad Airways, Emirates Airlines and Fly Dubai are suspending all flights to and from Doha, and Qatar Airways has responded by cancelling all Saudi-bound routes. We certainly would encourage the parties to sit down together the U.S. is trying to act as a peacemaker, but analysts say Saudi might have been emboldened by the strength of its ties with the states, revitalized by a recent visit of President Donald Trump, and just as Saudi prepares to list its oil champion Saudi Aramco on stock markets. The consequences could be tough for Qatar. Its stock market has tanked, and there are fears the SPAC could even cast doubts over its ability to host the 2022 World Cup.